Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's gonna to be going over a 2023 GMC Sierra Denali, and this particular one is a dually. Before we get in this video, though, a huge shout out and link to the National GMC here in American Fork, Utah for giving me some time with this Sierra. I'm gonna include a link to their inventory in the description down below so you can check out what they have currently. If you have any questions or need any help, just ask for David. And then on a side note, if you wanna save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Under the hood, we have the 6.6 liter turbo diesel known as the Duramax. That's a V8 diesel, if you guys are wondering, that goes through a 10 speed automatic transmission. Power outputs are 445 horsepower and then 910 pound feet of torque. Now, before we go over the front end, I do want to mention if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. Starting with the hood itself, you guys can see there's like a bunch of raised portions on it. It definitely makes it look muscular. And of course, you got the venting there on the center, which also adds the flare. Now, being a Denali, you've got tons of chrome here on the front end with a giant GMC logo. You guys can see with the C-shaped daytime running lights and then LED headlights. You've got the fog light action down below. Parking sensors here on the front end with chrome tow hooks. And then the last thing to know is we do have those cab lights there at the very top of the truck. But overall, I think this thing looks pretty sweet. Come around the side here, tire and wheel setup is 235, 80, 17 in the front and over in the rear as well. And then you guys can see with the wheel design, this is typically what you see with dualies. And you know, I think it looks pretty good. Now here's a look at the fender flares. Notice with the uh, light there in the fender flare or the reflector rather, I mean, it has the GMC logo in it. Anyways, Duramax badge right here on the side, Denali HD down below. And then you guys can see here with the side step. And then this one also happens to have the trailer tow mirrors. Notice we got the marker light here on the side in orange in the front and then in red in the back because obviously this is wide enough to need it. And then we've got really beefy leaf springs here in the back. And then now you guys can see the dually wheel setup. And taking a look at the full side view of this truck, I think it looks pretty sweet. And you guys can see the cutout there for the bed step. Now here's a quick look at the key fob. You guys can see we've got the unlock function, the lock function, remote start, and then the drop down here for the tailgate. Now popping into the bed, we have a payload capacity of 5,301 pounds. And then you guys can see we have LED light action, and then we have some uh, plug-in stuff here for the fifth wheel prep. And then also we have an outlet there on the other side. And speaking of the fifth wheel prep, with a gooseneck, you can tow 31,100 pounds with this specific truck. And if you're wondering, we also have an eight foot long bed. And there's also the Denali logo there at the end of the bed, which is pretty cool. And then this one has the multi-pro tailgate. So you can see it turns into a step system, which has a weight limit of 375 pounds. And then getting this folded up pretty easy, just fold that in and then lift up the whole tailgate in one motion. We've got the C-shaped taillights here, and then you guys can see bumper step action with our Sierra badge, and then those GMC Denali here in the center. And then we've got parking sensors here at the bottom. Now, conventional towing with this, 20,000 pounds. And putting it all together, I think this truck looks great. Now, taking a look at the rear door panel here, you guys can see the leather trim, and then down below, notice we've got that cowhide texture, and then look at the wood trim, that looks fantastic. And then we also have plenty of storage in the door panel. Really nice leather seats here with the Denali, and then you guys can see we've got the seat storage. And again, you got that kind of like cowhide texture on the leather. Legroom back here is great, and then you guys can see a little storage pocket. And then we have some cup holders here in the back, heated seats, we've got some USB action with some vents. And that headroom here in the back is also good. And don't you worry, we have our very nicely leather wrapped cup holder armrest. Now taking a look at the front door panel, you guys can see the stitching and then again with the cowhide texture down below and then more stitching. We've got more wood trim here, all of our window controls, front two are automatic. We have all of our mirror adjustments and by the way, this does have the extend function on the mirrors. So if you're towing an extra wide, right? We've got extra wide mirror function, right? And then we've got our speaker for the Bose sound system and then plenty of storage space. Denali there on the headrest and then you guys can see again with the cowhide texture on the leather, perforated all down the center portion and then we do have our power adjustments here on the side with the lumbar of course another Denali plaque and then our pedals down below we've got our light control right here with our fog light and our cargo light and then our drive line select so this has four wheel auto as well as two wheel high four wheel high and then four wheel low and then we have our trailer tow mode on the one side and the drive mode select with the other side and then our heads up display controls right here and then the steering wheel is actually manually adjustable
Now taking a look at the steering wheel here, you guys can see a lot of the trim all around. We got the darker stitching on the center portion with our Denali logo front and center. Radio controls on the back of the steering wheel with our controls for the center stack and our voice command control, phone control, heat steering wheel button on the steering wheel, and then we have our cruise control as well. And then we do have our turn signal light stock and we got a good old fashioned column shifter here, which does have the plus and minus right there. So then you can manually shift the gears yourself if you want. Now here is the center gauge cluster. You guys can see analog on either side. And then we do have uh, the screen here in the center, which we can use to scroll through some different menus, see different bits of info here on the truck itself. And then you guys can see the drive line there at the top. Now, when I pop into the tow haul mode, notice the gauge will change there which is pretty cool. And then we've got the drive modes as well. So we have a normal and then an off-road mode with the truck. Now in reverse, you guys can see we've got our bird's eye view here, which actually has the dually hips, which is very helpful. But backup camera with trajectory lines that turn with the steering wheel. And then we've got all of our other camera viewpoints here. So you can literally see out of like every single angle with the truck, which is super helpful. Even have a bed camera on top of that. And you guys can see the little person. And you probably noticed um, from earlier, if I go out of that uh, function, let's go back to the bed camera. You can actually basically change the trajectory line. So notice it's just a line, and then you can do no line. Um, so it's cool that you have the option to do that. As for the rest of the infotainment screen, first off, response time is great. We've got Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. And we kind of have this little shortcut bar here at the bottom that makes it so that it's a little bit more user-friendly. We've got analog controls here for the radio and then some stuff for the infotainment system as well. And then you guys can see our climate controls down below, dual zone here for the front. We also have heated and ventilated seats. And then before we dive further down, I wanna mention we got nice leather trim here on the dash. And then I like this trim that goes around the infotainment system. Let's see if I can get a good view. There you go. I think that looks nice. Anyways, we got our diesel exhaust brake integrated from the factory. Lane departure, we've got this for the parking sensors, your tailgate drop down, hazard lights, stability control. It's for the outlets. And then this is to roll down all the windows at once. And then you can see the full outlet here. Got some 12 volt action and then trailer brake controls integrated from the factory. We have our wireless phone charging pad here and then a little bit of storage there on the side couple of cup holders and then here's the center console notice perforated on the top then you got the cowhide texture on the sides tons of storage space with some usb action which helps out quite a bit and then we got the double glove box situation which is great when it comes to storage and it actually looks like it's padded a little bit on the outside and then up top we do have the camera mirror as you can see and then we do have a sunroof as well and then we've got a power sliding rear window on top of that now here is our window sticker for this 2023 Sierra 3500 four wheel drive, dual rear wheel crew cab Denali. Anyways, you guys know it's three year 36,000 mile on the bumper to bump warranty, five year 100,000 mile on the powertrain warranty. And a lot of stuff uh, comes with this as standard equipment, which is pretty cool. Oh, we actually also have a locking rear differential. So this has the G80 system. That's something uh, that's pretty cool to have. And then you guys can see the rest of the standard equipment here. Now, I noticed the base MSRP $75,700. But obviously, base MSRP. Let's get into the options. So, first off, you got that Duramax engine, which is $97.50. And then you can see towing technology. And then notice the sunroof. And then the fifth wheel prep is actually pretty inexpensive. Heavy duty front springs, which if you're going to be towing, you're going to definitely want that. So, the biggest thing is that diesel engine. Almost everything else, though, it looks like it's standard equipment. But notice twelve thousand dollars in options. You got your base MSRP, well, base option MSRP before destination, which is yeah, almost two thousand dollars. Wow, ninety thousand two hundred and five dollars. Let me know what you guys think about this Denali.